Welcome back everyone. Bowser's back. Friday. Finished work. I've already had a cup. We've had probably a pint of beer and moretti. Uh, I feel like I've cut already. It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> really tired, isn't it? So, uh, as you can tell, work stuff's still on. Ain't got time for food yet. It's, uh, it's Friday night, so get a couple of beers now. Me, so I thought I'd start off with a nice casual one. Beer review. Excuse the face as well, because I've got most of the paint on my face as well. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the beer that's coming up now is one that I got the other day. Another one from uh, Woodford's Brewery. Uh, I picked this up from B&M for 99p, so I'm just expecting average, <clears throat> but I could be, mis you know, I could all be wrong, and it's a can of Woodford's, uh, it's a can of their Narada Pale Ale coming in at 4.3%, this was 99p, like I said, it's a 330ml can, uh, I don't know about the label really, it's okay, it's kind of... It is what it is, isn't it, really? Uh, yeah, like I said, got that from B&M. Uh, I picked up three from them. Done the one yesterday, second one, so the other one. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown of it, because I'm, I'm guessing these aren't... I've never heard of them before, so I'm guessing they're sort of quite small or new or whatever they're sort of, And uh, I'll give you a rundown of what the beer says it's going to do. So, uh, on the back it says... This thirst quenching pale ale is a golden tropical scented hop filled beer just bursting with character. Hints of mango papaya twist through a gold mine of citrusy goodness topped with a tower of hops creating a light beer that leaves you thirsty for more. What I'm expecting is a hint of just a hint of tropical thing. Maybe just a, a smidgen of mango and papaya. A little bit of citrus in there, very little hops, and it's probably going to be okay. <laughs> so, sorry, Woodford, but you know, if you're selling beers at 99p, they're going to be okay. That's about it. So, let's get it out of the can, get it into a glass, see what we get. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, picking up well again, which is is nice. It, uh, as I've always said, keeps me. Gives me a little bit more incentive to do it. It's nice that people watch. So this is a pay out. <clears throat> For me, it doesn't look a lot different from the American Amber I had the other day. So there we go, in a glass. Just it, it, nothing raging coming up from the bottom of the glass, but lots of bubbles coming up. It's amber in colour, I would say orange amber kind of colour finger and half of quite a foamy foamy head white yeah white head maybe a slight tinge to it but uh don't know it looks looks a bit like the amber one but let's see what we get anyway getting on the nose yeah citrus grapefruit mango papaya i don't know don't know what a papaya smells like to be honest and mango if it if there is mango in there i wouldn't even say it's hints it's more like hit but yeah <laughs> that's maybe a bit harsh golden yeah tropical hoppy a little bit maybe i think it does smell as this says but not quite as exaggerated as maybe that says so uh i'll tell you what without further ado let's dive in cheers everyone Ta. the rest in there <clears throat> I think it's pretty much a lot like all these craft beer ranges they could all do with that extra 10% in them body's all right on it I think pale ale you sort of expect it a little bit thin but it's got a bit to it mouth feels really nice I'll say it, it, it's it's quite a nice mouthfeel. I would say really nice. A little bit of carbonation in there. And if I remember rightly, I think I said the same about uh, 
the amber ale. So maybe it is the same beer, I don't know. Uh, quite a nice mouthfeel. It's got a bitterness to it. You're sort of getting a grapefruit. Slight grapefruit. And then the bitterness really kicks in. This is still at the start, the grapefruit right at the start. Just as you sort of taste that, the bitterness sort of kicks in. But then tails off to nothing really. But the bitterness lingers, the bitterness does linger. I mean this. There's almost. There's almost a bit of a, a bready sweetness to it. Uh, which I can only think would be from the malted barley. But it certainly doesn't say sort of a, a sweetness to it. But that's what I'm picking up myself. Right, a long way in though that is, because you do get the bitterness lingering for a bit, and it's sort of like when you lick your lips you get that little sweetness to it. Uh, does it do it for me? I actually think it's quite bitter for a pale ale, 4.3%. Uh, For the bitterness it has, I would say it drinks stronger than that maybe, a little bit stronger. Pale ale, I wouldn't say it's a pale ale myself, uh, with the bitterness, uh, it's not giving anything away whether there's any sort of, but it is quite citrusy as well actually because I did miss that, there's a bit of citrus. Uh, to me that that sort of edges on IPA maybe a little bit I don't know or it's just a different sort of pale ale that I'm used to it's, it is quite bitter <clears throat> quite grapefruity and clearly got a little bit of gas in it but it's that'd be the Moretti but sorry what do I think of it it's okay it is it's what you pay for 99p for this uh, it, it's just what you expect for a 99p can of so-called craft beer to be honest uh, it's sheer that the equivalent is to something average in a supermarket in a 500 mil bottle for 150 that's all i can say really so i mean is it worth a pickup yeah i mean it's 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 not necessarily to my taste buds uh the bitterness for me is a little bit overpowering uh overpowers maybe a little bit the rest of it so that's but that's just my view so uh there you are got that from b and m's uh 99p like i said if you're thinking of picking it up I wouldn't necessarily say yes, but I'm, I'm not going to say no because you know what you like. So uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. I don't think it's the worst thing going. It's okay. Uh, and that's it really. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. As I always say, like, share my video and other videos. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget I'm on Twitter and Facebook. All the beer, no idea. I'm starting to forget what I'm saying. I uh, also have loads of playlists which I add all the certain beers into on my YouTube channel so check that out if there's certain styles you like have a look in them uh, I also do perfect draft beer reviews and beer reviews for the blade so if you have any interest in all this sort of different stuff check the channel out and uh, take a look and uh, that's about it so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again on another beer review very soon cheers